Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to our journey to success. In this second episode of our Ramadan series, we're taking you on a spiritual and cultural journey to the state of Pirak, Malaysia, where the essence of Islamic unity and brotherhood shines brightly in every corner. We stayed at the serene Doubletree Hilton Damai Laut Resort, offering picturesque views and a peaceful retreat for our family this Ramadan. Our journey took us to the majestic Masjid Ubudiya in Kuala Kangsar, where we immersed ourselves in the tranquility of Tarawi and Isha prayers, shoulder to shoulder with our brothers and sisters in faith. Our adventure continued to the charming Pangkor Island, where we experienced the unique blend of Islamic heritage at Masjid Al Badr, also known as Masjid Terapung Pulau Pangkor, and the Chinese influenced Masjid Muhammadiyah. These visits not only enriched our understanding of Malaysia's diverse Muslim community, but also highlighted the beautiful unity of Islam. In Islam, the concept of unity transcends mere words. It is a divine mandate etched in the core of our faith, as illustrated in the teachings of the Quran and the life of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. Surah Hujurat, chapter 49, verse 13 of the glorious Quran eloquently encapsulates this ethos. O mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female, and made you peoples and tribes, that you may know one another. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Indeed, Allah is knowing and acquainted. This verse beautifully underscores that our diversity in race, language and colour is a sign of Allah's creative power, intended for us to recognise and appreciate one another, not to foster division or superiority. The criterion for honour in the eyes of Allah is not our worldly attributes, but our taqwa, our consciousness of Allah, our piety and righteousness. Islam not only preaches the concept of universal brotherhood, but also enforces it through its practices. Salah, the Islamic prayer, is a profound act of worship that embodies this unity. Muslims, regardless of their backgrounds, stand shoulder to shoulder in prayer, symbolizing equality and brotherhood. This act eradicates any notions of racial or social hierarchy, affirming that in the eyes of Allah, we are one Ummah. In times of global unrest and challenges, the principle of unity is more crucial than ever for the Muslim Ummah. As we witness the struggles of our brothers and sisters in Palestine, it's important to remember the collective pain and concern for the oppressed that we share as Muslims transcend borders, languages and cultures. It's a bond that unites us in prayer, hope and the relentless pursuit of justice and peace. Before we dive into our journey across Pirak, let us offer a collective prayer. O oh Allah, unite our hearts. Guide us to the paths of peace and deliver us from darkness to light. Help us to support the oppressed and to stand firm in justice. Bless this Ummah with harmony, understanding and enduring compassion. Amin. Now please join us as we traverse the spiritual landscapes of Pirak, uncovering the stories of mosques that stand as beacons of Islamic unity and heritage, and sharing the profound experiences of Ramadan in Malaysia. Assalamu alaikum! <laughs> Welcome back to our Ramadan special series, episode 2. 
Papua. <laughs> Today we're on the road and we're heading up to Perak because we are on the way to see an extremely special mosque. Uh, mashallah, we're on the way to see Masjid Obadia. Yes. Um, and we will be staying at the Hilton Damal Laut. Damai Laut. Damai, Damai Laut, yeah. sorry, my apologies. Um, resort. So, um, yeah, we have been wanting to check out this masjid for a really long time. Um, we've kind of made it like a thing to just go and visit all these beautiful mosques. And in, try different Taravis. Yeah, yeah, try different Taravis, see what Ramadan's like in these different um, cities. And yeah, we're really, really excited. So it's um, it's about a three, three and a half hour journey from KL where we live. Yeah. So it's a bit of a road trip, but so far, alhamdulillah, it's been, the roads are quiet. The, so quiet and again, I, I say it all the time, but the road infrastructure here, one, it's so similar to back home in the UK, so it really doesn't feel like you driving. Except way better quality, no potholes. But the roads are really, really <laughs> good quality, like there's no yeah. potholes, um, and the scenery is, you know, breathtaking as you're driving yeah. along, you see palm trees and uh, bits of jungle and forest and hills so it really is um, it's always a beautiful drive uh, and mashallah so. baby Muhammad Noah's happy sleeping he in the back it. as always so. he loves it we love being in the car <laughs> he loves uh, being he out loves a road trip. <laughs> so yeah bismillah around three hours later we arrived into Damai Laut in Parak a serene enclave nestled along the coastal town of Lumut. This picturesque haven, known for its stunning landscapes and luxurious resorts, offered us an idyllic Ramadan retreat. The Mailaut is a tapestry of natural beauty, recreational activities and cultural experiences, making it an ideal sanctuary for relaxation and exploration on Malaysia's west coast and provided us with the perfect base to visit both Pankor Island and Masjid Ubudiyah, located in the royal town of Kuala Kangsar. Our sanctuary for this journey was the Doubletree by Hilton Damai Laut Resort. Standing majestically with panoramic views of the Straits of Malacca, the moment we stepped into this beachfront resort, the blend of modern luxury and traditional Pirak Limas house architecture encapsulated the essence of a Malaysian coastal getaway. The open air lobby where the breeze from the straits gently welcomed us felt like stepping into a world where time slows down, inviting us to savour every moment. Greeted with the signature warmth we've come to expect from Hilton, the staff at Doubletree de Mailout, particularly the guest service manager Jeffrey, made our arrival special. This resort, which began welcoming guests on September the 15th, 2022, represents Hilton's expanding footprint into Malaysia, a testament to the brand's commitment to offering exceptional hospitality experiences across the country. The Doubletree by Hilton Demai Lauch Resort unfurls as a sanctuary of tranquility, offering 294 guest rooms, each opening to private balconies that frame the mesmerizing vistas surrounding the resort. Our journey through the resort was kindly guided by Ashraf, another remarkable member of the staff at the Doubletree Demai Laut. The resort was a peaceful retreat, beautifully adorned with Ramadan decorations that infused our stay with a spiritual essence. These festive adornments featuring traditional Islamic motifs and symbols captured the sacred atmosphere of Ramadan, reflecting the month's profound spirituality and reverence. As we were welcomed into the comfort of the executive lounge, we were captivated by the panoramic views before us. The vast, calming sea stretching towards the horizon, 
with the picturesque Pankor Island resting peacefully in the distance. The lounge's strategic vantage point offered us a splendid overview of the resort's vibrant heart, the swimming pool and exuberant mini water park. This delightful aquatic playground, far from being mini, boasts 10 thrilling slides, each designed to provide joyous laughter and excitement for children of all ages. The water park's thoughtful design ensures that both young toddlers seeking gentle splashes and older children craving adventurous slides find their moments of joy and excitement. On this visit, we were graciously hosted in one of the hotel's splendid one-bedroom sea view suites. Covering an expansive 70 square meters, the suite was a blend of luxury and functionality, adorned with chic amenities and offering abundant room for relaxation. Perched on an upper floor, the suite presented breathtaking, unobstructed vistas from a private balcony that faced the tranquil straits of Malacca, allowing us to soak in the picturesque seascape. A unique feature of the suite was an outdoor bathtub situated on a secluded terrace, offering a serene spot to unwind with a panoramic view of the swimming pool and the vibrant mini water park below. The calm ocean views and the resort's focus on family-friendly experiences created an ideal setting for relaxation, capturing the tranquil charm of Pirac and providing a nurturing environment for our family retreat. The suite's bedroom was a haven of comfort, spacious and inviting with its own private balcony to enjoy the spectacular scenery. Even baby Mohammed Noah was delighted with the suite's spaciousness, the jewel sinks and the expansive walk-in shower, all of which added to our comfortable and memorable stay. After a short rest and then rejuvenating ourselves with a refreshing dip in the pool, we embarked on our journey to a remarkable destination, Masjid Ubudiya. Nestled in the royal town of Kuala Kangsar, Pirak, this mosque epitomizes the grandeur of Islamic architecture and the rich tapestry of Malaysia's religious heritage. Constructed in a harmonious blend of Indo-Saracenic and Gothic Victorian styles, Masjid Ubudiya stands majestically with its golden dome and towering minarets, a testament to the grandeur of Islamic architecture. Its design intricately weaves elements of royal legacy and divine inspiration, creating an awe-inspiring silhouette against the Pirac skyline. The mosque's historical significance is rooted in its foundation by Sultan Idris Murshidul Azam Shah I in 1911, with its completion in 1917 marking a significant era in the Islamic and cultural chronicles of the region. Beyond its architectural marvel, Masjid Ubudiya holds a profound place in the hearts of the Kuala Kangsar community, serving as a central venue for Islamic worship and royal ceremonies. Nestled on the verdant hill of Bukit Chandan, Masjid Ubudiya stands as a beacon of Islamic faith, inviting believers and visitors alike to witness and admire its majestic presence. While we journeyed towards this iconic masjid, our hearts were filled with anticipation of the spiritual fulfillment and communal unity that awaited us, encapsulating the essence of unity and brotherhood in Islam 
that Ramadan so profoundly embodies. Salamat Patan! <laughs> so, we are now on our way to the iconic Masjid Ubudia, which is in uh, the... It's in Parag. In Parag. Yeah. And there's an interesting history about the Masjid, actually. Yeah, so um, apparently it was um, a thanksgiving from the 28th Sultan of Perak. Um, but it is a stunning masjid. Um, it's so really... you were telling me the story, which I think was really nice. The, the Sultan uh, had become ill, yeah. and then when he recovered, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he made the mosque as a... As a as a symbol of gesture of his yeah, uh, gratitude to Allah, really, and I think that's a nice message. Um, I first saw this mosque. Um, I'm always interested in different mosques when we go to different countries. So when we first got here, I was looking at like some of the different mosques, and this comes up on a lot of the lists. Mm. It's a beautiful, grand mosque with sort of this gold and uh, yeah, really iconic gold, um, huge domes and Beautiful. it's absolutely stunning. So we thought what a, what a great time to go in Ramadan and uh, pray well, hopefully we'll make it for Maghreb pray Maghreb, Inshallah. open our fast uh, pray Isha and Tarawi there So um, yeah, so we're really excited to go and check out this masjid and um, yeah Inshallah we'll be able to get there in time and break our fast Wow, subhanAllah. Even as you're driving up the road, you you see it and wow, it's it's more breathtaking in real life. SubhanAllah, what a beautiful masjid. And this whole area actually feels quite royal. Um, I think that there was a palace galleria over there yeah. and I think the main palace is over there. Yeah. So um, yeah, subhanAllah, we feel very blessed and privileged to be here. Um, pray now we're going to go in and pray, inshallah. But wow, subhanAllah. <laughs> Subhanallah, we've just finished the Rawi prayers at this majestic masjid. This is the Witha prayers just finishing off, which we're going to pray when we get home. Subhanallah, the, the recitation again, Incredible. unbelievable. Honestly. And I have to say, so far, every masjid I've been to in Malaysia 
the recitation is they always take so much pride in the recitation yeah. and I love that I love it I mean subhanallah it's such a nice feeling and again I know I've said it before but one thing we take for granted as Muslims is that any Muslim from anywhere in the world can go to the other side of the world find a masjid you're able to go in and pray shoulder to shoulder with your brothers and sisters and instantly feel like part of that community you may not even speak the same language but you pray the same way you have the same way of greeting one another there's so straight away there's an instant bond and subhanallah that is just something which we're so lucky to have as Muslims um, so privileged subhanallah Alhamdulillah, right now for the road trip back, it's an, an hour and a half back to the hotel, so uh, Bismillah. <laughs> In the tranquil early hours, the soothing symphony of waves gently lapping against the shore awakened us, a serene call to embrace the day. At the Makan kitchen, we were greeted with a sahur buffet that was a feast for the senses offering a variety of local and international dishes, complemented by a vibrant array of fresh fruits and vegetables. The nourishing meal provided the sustenance needed for the day's fast. With hearts and bodies nourished, we made our way to the Hotel Sarau for Fajr prayers, commencing our spiritual journey for the day in peaceful contemplation. Salamat pagi! Salam alaikum! <laughs> it's Friday morning, we are on the way to Pankor Island, Pankor Laut. Pankor Laut. It's also called. Which um, looks like the Maldives of Malaysia. It looks beautiful, it looks yeah. Stunning. Um, so we're heading to Marina Jetty to take the jetty over um, to the island, and with it being Friday, we're going to go and pray Jumma uh, on the island, inshallah, uh, and then explore the island a little bit. So um, it's a beautiful day, blue skies as always. Alhamdulillah, looking forward to it. So we have arrived at Marina Island, Pankor, and we're just about to purchase our tickets to head over to Pankor Island. Um, it's a cute little. Marina Village, they've got a few shops here. Ah, oh, salam alaikum. Ah, oh, salam akasi. <laughs> no, he's good, baby. He's tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we approached the jetty, our eyes were drawn to the vibrant yellow ferry waiting to whisk us away to Pankor Island. With tickets priced at just 20 ringgit for a round trip, the brief 10 to 15 minute voyage promised a swift getaway to island tranquility. Boarding the ferry, we found it to be well maintained, boasting clean and spacious interiors. Gazing through the windows, the sight of Pankor Island drawing near was a delightful prelude to our adventure. The sea's calmness ensured a smooth sail, complemented by the stunning harmony of blue skies and waters along the way. Stepping off the ferry, our anticipation was palpable, eager to commence our exploration of Pankor, beginning with the spiritual serenity of Juma prayers at Masjid al-Badr. Masjid al-Badr, also known as Masjid Terapung Palau Pankor, or the floating mosque of Pankor Island, stands as a spiritual beacon with its distinctive architecture mirroring the tranquil sea it overlooks. 
Situated on the east side of Pankor Island, this mosque marries practicality with serene beauty, offering both locals and visitors a unique place of worship. Constructed on stilts, Masjid al Badr becomes an ethereal sight at high tide, appearing to float gracefully on the water's surface. This architectural choice is not just a marvel of design, but also a reflection of the island's coastal character, harmonizing with the surrounding seascape. The mosque's name, al Badr, meaning the full moon, resonates with its serene and luminous presence on the water, especially during the night when it seems to glow under the moon's light. Entering the mosque, one is greeted by an interior that encapsulates the essence of Islamic artistry. The prayer hall with its captivating Islamic carpet design in shades of blue mirrors the mosque's aquatic setting. The walls adorned with Quranic verses on polished marble offer a peaceful and contemplative atmosphere, ideal for prayer and reflection. Praying Jummah in Masjid al Badr was a deeply spiritual and unifying experience. The mosque with its serene setting and architectural elegance offered an ideal setting for communal worship. The act of joining together in prayer within this floating sanctuary deepened our sense of brotherhood and connection, embodying the Islamic principle of unity and togetherness that has been a significant aspect of our journey. Completing our Jummah prayers at Masjid al Badr alongside the local congregation was once again a beautiful reminder of the unity found in Islam. The mosque's tranquil atmosphere combined with the gentle lapping of waves beneath enhanced our spiritual connection, leaving a lasting impression of our time spent in prayer at this unique floating mosque in Malaysia. Assalamu alaikum and Juma Mubarak just finished praying Jummah in this stunning masjid again another floating mosque um, if you remember we also visited a floating mosque in Malacca um, subhanallah this is also a beautiful masjid perhaps not as big as that one but it looks a lot newer and the interior and the carpet was immaculate I'm a big fan of carpet um, so alhamdulillah I uh, particularly enjoyed it but subhanallah again everybody's so friendly so kind what a blessing Jumar Mubarak so we have just arrived and this is actually the Dutch fort so again a lot of similarities um, with Malacca uh, so the floating mosque and this is the original Dutch fort um, and it's funny because the driver who was bringing us here he kept telling me, dashboard, dashboard. And I was like, dashboard? He's like, yes, you must see the dashboard. And I was like, dashboard? Anyway, we stopped and it turned out to be Dutch Fort. It was just the accent. <laughs> He's a lovely Indian gentleman, but he was saying dashboard. <laughs> it meant Dutch Fort. And here we are, subhanAllah. <laughs> The Dutch fort on Pankor Island, also known as Kota Belanda, is a historical site that serves as a reminder of the Dutch colonial presence in Malaysia. Located in the scenic beachside fishing village of Kampung Teluk Gedung, the fort is the remains of an old 17th century warehouse built by the Dutch East India Company for the storage and protection of tin supplies stolen from the Sultanate of Pirak. Reflecting on this site from an Islamic perspective, we acknowledge the fort as a symbol of colonial ambition and the resilience of the Malay community. Despite the challenges of foreign dominion, the locals preserved their culture and religious essence, underscoring the narrative of resistance and spiritual steadfastness. The fort's narrative reminds us of the enduring spirit of the Ummah in maintaining their identity and faith 
amidst adversity. Uh, I'm a firm believer that as Muslims, we have a duty and an obligation to, um, to give the correct history of what happened in the Muslim lands in terms of colonialism and oppression over the years. But SubhanAllah, as I am standing here in this Dutch fort, you can't help but wonder, gosh, like it's not even that big of a fort. What it must have been like, SubhanAllah, like these walls could speak. They would tell so many stories. People in here looking out from these windows um, at such a difficult period of time for Malaysia. But um, yeah, SubhanAllah, history is an amazing thing, but it's important now more so than ever um, that we as Muslims ensure that we are factually correct about the colonial history of Muslim lands and the oppression um, that many Muslims around the world have faced. And I think uh, that's part of our objective with our channel. Um, so, yeah. Next, we visited the Chinese mosque on Pankor Island, Masjid Muhammadiyya, a fascinating blend of Islamic worship and Chinese architectural design. Masjid Muhammadiyya's architecture is a harmonious fusion of Islamic and Chinese styles. The mosque's structure, adorned with traditional Chinese motifs, pagodas and vibrant colours, mirrors the aesthetics of a Chinese temple, yet it remains a fully functional Islamic place of worship. Its design not only serves the spiritual needs of the local Muslim community, but also stands as a cultural bridge promoting interfaith understanding and respect. Constructed with the intent to foster multicultural harmony, Masjid Muhammadiyya is a testament to the inclusive nature of Malaysian society. It showcases the integration of Chinese architectural elements into Islamic religious practice, symbolizing the country's commitment to embracing and celebrating its diverse cultural heritage. This unique mosque underscores the message that in Malaysia, different cultural and religious identities can coalesce beautifully, contributing to a united national narrative. As a place of prayer and a centre for community engagement, Masjid Muhammadiyya on Pankor Island is a remarkable landmark that not only enriches the spiritual landscape of Malaysia, but also serves as a beacon of unity and mutual respect among its people. Our brief sojourn on Panka Island was nothing short of enchanting. As the time for iftar drew near, we prepared to leave this picturesque locale. The island's serene beaches offered us moments of tranquility and reflection, capturing the essence of its untouched beauty. While we couldn't indulge in the inviting waters this time, the allure of Pankor's sandy shores and crystal clear seas beckons us to return for a more extended exploration of its hidden treasures. Boarding the ferry back to the mainland, our journey was graced with the genuine warmth of the Malaysian people. We encountered a kind-hearted brother and his four sons, whose affectionate interaction with Muhammad Noah was a heartwarming sight. This encounter was a window into the future, envisioning our son growing up embraced by the rich tapestry of Malaysia's diverse and welcoming community. This land with its kind-hearted inhabitants promises a nurturing environment for Muhammad Noah, where he will forge friendships and build bonds with the Malaysian people truly a testament to the nation's embracing spirit.
We returned to the hotel late in the afternoon, just as the sun began its descent, casting a golden glow over the Straits of Malacca. For Iftar, we made our way to the Makan kitchen in the hotel, where we had previously reserved a table by the window, offering us a view of the evening's serene transformation. The Iftar buffet was an elaborate affair, featuring an array of local and international dishes, from the aromatic nasi goreng to the savoury laksa. The buffet catered to a multitude of palates. Additionally, an outdoor barbecue area provided succulent satay and lamb leg, filling the air with enticing aromas. The dessert section was particularly impressive, with a medley of sweet treats that were too tempting to resist. As we indulged in the various desserts, the soft rhythm of the live Ramadan percussion music added to the festive atmosphere, enhancing our dining experience. This moment of breaking fast was not just about the food, but also about the joy of sharing this special time of day with others, all while enjoying the culinary delights and the soothing melodies of the season. The next morning before heading back, I took my baby son, Hamad Noah, down to the pool for one last refreshing dip. As we enjoyed the cool, refreshing water and had some father and son bonding time, I reflected on our journey through Pirak and the experiences we've shared. It's the moments of tranquility and connection that stand out. Traveling around Malaysia, exploring its natural wonders and interacting with its people has been a journey of discovery and gratitude. As we enjoy these final moments by the pool, the serene waters seem to mirror the peace and harmony we found in this blessed month of Ramadan. We are deeply thankful for the opportunity to explore this beautiful country, to witness the diversity and unity of its people, and to share these experiences with you. In the spirit of Ramadan, we extend our warmest wishes to you and your families. May this month bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to each other. Please remember us and all those facing trials and tribulations in your du'as. Your support means the world to us. Thanks again for watching. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.